believe I got to come up with my very own chemical formula. Jalapeno Supernova Cupcake Frosting! That wasn't the assignment. Aw, you sound just like my lab partners. Couldn't have done it without you guys! I just got the weirdest text from Timber Spruce. Pirate, plane, alligator, thumbs up, waterfall, golf club, ice cream sundae. What does it mean? Is it an inside joke? A hieroglyphic reference? A secret code? Ugh, my brain feels weird. I'm not used to not knowing things. Hmm, sounds like you could use a translator. Uh, I could help. Leave this one to me. Who can get me out of this textastrophe? As you are no doubt keenly aware, I am fluent in all the latest text slang. Phone lingo, <laughs> if I may. Oh, so you're just gonna... No, no, darling. Thank you so much. But what did I just say? Oh, he replied. Robot shooting star trophy? Oh! <laughs> He's a witchy one. He won a space robot contest. Fancy dress anvil high five napkin. Anvil? I don't know a shh, darling, darling. <laughs> Do you like ice cream? Who doesn't like ice cream? Check mark, check mark. Couple holding hands, sunshine, three balloons, spoon. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what just happened? Oh, well, I started by sending a dragon, because you're powerful, ice cube and snail, because you're cool, but take it slow, and then pyramid, well, for obvious reasons. And he was way into it, so in this last one, I was just double-checking. You and Timber Spruce have a date on Sunday at three o'clock to have ice cream. Thumbs up, smiley face. You're welcome. So, what are you thinking, Fluttershy? I'd start with a bird. Sounds good. Then, iguana, guinea pig, regular pig, frog, baby chicken the egg, baby chick out of the egg, all three see no evil monkeys, cat, 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 all the cats, and um... Finish it with a squirrel on his hind legs. Sounds good. Scent, that was perfect. So what did we just send? A bunch of cute animal emojis. But what does it mean? <gasps> he says yes to the zoo! The zoo? Oh, the zoo! Thank you, Fluttershy! No matter what the problem is, adorable animals are always the answer. Timber Spruce wants to dress up like pirates and fly through waterfalls with an alligator while we eat ice cream with golf clubs for spoons? Crazy! Golf clubs would make terrible spoons. Have you thought about maybe asking him what he means? Ooh, great idea. How would I ask that in emojis? Ugh. Calling? No calling! Who talks on the phone? Uh, sunset, wah! Hey, Timber Spruce? Sunset Shimmer here. Mm. Mm hmm That text you sent, Twilight Sparkle. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's what you meant. That's what Twilight thought, but we weren't sure. Thanks. You just boy talked. Mouth words. Phone. He's wondering if you're free to play pirate alligator mini golf this weekend. Oh, duh, of course. How do I say yes? Oh. Yes. Some 
say the best part of a music festival is the music. But to me, it's fashion. An old pair of cowboy boots will keep you from stepping in a steaming pile of, uh, fashion emergency. If you've got hang-ups with hangers, look for style right outside your window. <gasps> I believe they're famished for fashion. Well, actually, they do want me to regurgitate worms into their beaks. Innovative! Who's next? Make sure you can move, whether you're dancing at the festival or after a hat trick. Touchdown! Uh, that's not what it's called. Can't go wrong with a classic. Classic? You mean like... Always in style. Personal responsibility. Earplugs for high decibel situation. A water bottle. Flashlight and compass in case you get lost. The other kind of compass in case you need drop. And there you have it, my loves. At the end of the day, it's always in fashion to be utterly yourselves. See you at the festival. Absolutely adequate. <gasps> After working here for months and months, I knew I'd finally do something to catch your eye. In a couple of days, a style scout from Canterlot City Fashion Week is visiting our shop. I need a window display with something fresh. I would like you to design and execute it. Really? <gasps> Thank you, Ms. Hemline. You will not regret this. Oh, and Rarity, don't mess up. I thrive under pressure. One does not become a diamond without pressure. It's too much pressure! <laughs> what in heavens will I do? I have tried everything. Fringe, appliques, cheese. The muse has left me. I'm sure you'll have an idea soon. You can't force artistic inspiration. <laughs> Another piece by the secretive street artist, Flanksy. I wonder what it's like not to want credit and praise for one's genius creations. Yeah, uh, me too. This mural is everything I want to say, but through paint instead of fabric. Uh, it looks like you found your muse again. It's a postmodern installation piece celebrating the creative process. And, oh, who am I kidding? It's atrocious! This window's not avant garde, it's avant marred. Maybe there's a way we can save it. It's supposed to be finished by tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going home! Au revoir, Korea! I don't know how you did it, Rarity, but congratulations! <gasps> Is everything okay, Fluttershy? I don't think so. I hear crying. <laughs> From a bunch of baby sea turtles. They just hatched and are trying to find their way to the water. But they're lost. Oh, no! Oh, how could I ever find a bunch of teeny tiny turtles on this great big beach? Tank here is a tortoise. Maybe he could help us? Hmm. That's not exactly the same, but it's worth a try. Lead the way, Tank. There they are. Aww. You did it, Tank. So, what do we do now? We just need to help them get to the water safely. 
Just over the sand dune, past those rocks and crabs, beyond that abandoned sandcastle city, and around that dangerous shipwreck. Oh, boy. Don't worry. We'll just carry them to safety. We can't. They have to make the journey on their own so they can imprint and return to this beach when they lay their own eggs someday. Well, then, the least we can do is help clear a path for them. Turtles, be free! Um, adorable tiny turtles? Tank? Fluttershy, look! The trail in the sand! Tank? Tank led the babies! Aww! <laughs> well done, Tank! Oh, they think Tank's their mommy. <laughs> Aww. Ah, Summer. You know, there's nothing like kicking back and enjoying the... Complete disaster! Are you okay, Rarity? My earrings gone! A one-of-a-kind, irreplaceable work of art! I should know. I made it. I was reapplying my SPF when I realized my ear was... Naked! I don't know what to do. It meant so much to me, and... and... If you want our help, just ask. Oh, would you mind? I took the liberty of getting some equipment. Any luck? Not so quick! I got something! Could it be? Close, but not quite. Hold your horses. Now I'm beeping. Now that is definitely a... <gasps> False alarm. Oh. Well, not to worry. We've got plenty of time. This. We've combed the entire beach and found nothing, nothing! I'm sorry I've wasted your entire day. Are you kidding? We haven't even done half the beach. Who knows what else we'll find? What even is this? <laughs> the sand is full of mysteries. But the sun's going down. <sighs> I guess it's a lost cause. <sighs> not it, is it? It's not. But thank you, both of you. I had a wonderful day just the same. I'll just take one last sweep. to come over after school today to... Oh, uh, that sounds really cool, but I can't. I have a plant. What sort of plant? Just chores and stuff. Gotta go! <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. It's gonna be so much fun! <laughs> without me. I've never felt so betrayed in all my life! No! We'll see you guys there. I'll have plenty of time to think about that. 
I guess their plans don't involve me. Driver, take me home! Ah, uh, lady, I need an address. I guess I'll just be alone by myself while all my friends are having fun together. Without... What? You didn't think we'd let you spend your birthday alone, did you? Well, but you're, of course not, darling. I knew you had something up your sleeve from the very beginning. These food trucks have such clever gimmicks. Weaken the cheese, avocados constant, money for waffles and chickens not for free either. Lasagna pop? Okay, most have clever names. It's like they stopped trying after. Bye, focaccia. Now I've seen everything. Where's lasagna pop? Where's lasagna pop? Oh, are you lost, little girl? She needs our help. And perhaps a bath. Oh, come on, little one. We'll help you. You can follow me to the show just so long as you don't <laughs> do something like that. Excuse me. Pardon. <laughs> she thinks it's a game. Run, Rarity, run. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Love your cufflinks. Did I step in your... to Susie from P Post Crush? I... Yeah, yeah, we're all such big fans. Oh, she found my dog! <laughs> oh, how can I ever repay you? Oh, a genuine fashion-forward throwback feather boa for me? I mean, uh, I will try and find something to go with it. Say thanks, Princess. You're welcome. How can we help you, little one? Thank you. Oh, that was easy. Okay, so back to the food trucks. We could go to Rapsolutely, Tapas of the Morning, Forgiven Baguette. Poke me, poke you, Winnie the Poo Poo Platter, Chuck of the Irish, Chuck of the Danish, Door Door Not. <laughs> She's coming over. Like to me, what should I do? What should I say? Oh, I know. <clears throat> Sup? Ooh, Spike's got a crush. What? No, I don't. I'm, I'm just happy to help. <laughs> Hi. I'm Spike. Nice to meet you. I, I mean, meet you. That wasn't weird.
everywhere for you. We have? Uh, we have? I hope it wasn't a problem. Not at all. Right, Spike? Happy to help. Come on, princess. <sighs> oh, yeah. He's just happy to help. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be jealous, but I have been invited to an exclusive costume party at Bold Biceps House! Oh, good. Yeah! It's gonna be awesome! Uh, don't be nervous. We'll all go together, Fluttershy. It's not that. It's just the party's in a few days and I have no idea what I'd wear. Oh, don't you worry about that. I got just the thing. I'd be more than willing to help you throw together a dazzling ensemble. I'm thinking something real spooky. Hmm. Who should I ask for help with my costume? Okay, let's get started. Aha! Here it is! Not too scary. Not scary enough. Can't picture you as a bat. Now this I can work with. Sunset! Nice costume! Come on in! If you think this is good, wait till you see. Ah! Monster! Robin! Monster? Where? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you made it into Flutter's time! I told you this was a great costume. <laughs> oh, Fluttershy! I can't wait to make you something truly breathtaking. <laughs> now hold still for the next several days. <gasps> Rarity, darling, you've outdone yourself. We're ready. I said darling, didn't I? Oh. <gasps> I look like a princess. Mm, indeed. Now, we still have to find something for you to wear. Huh? You made this for yourself? Oh, don't worry. You can wear one of my... What is this old things? Why are they called that? They're beautiful. What? This old thing? <laughs> I'm thrilled you're willing to do this with me, Fluttershy. I tried to use this costume ages ago with Sunset Shimmer, but she just wasn't into it. Uh, what is it? Here, what'd you think? Ain't she a beaut? Where are those two? I hope Fluttershy didn't get cold feet. The only thing these feet are doing is getting ready to cut a rug. <gasps> oh, Fluttershy. I'm sorry she's putting you through this. Actually, Rarity, it's nice. It's easier to relax when no one can see me. <laughs> What'd I tell you? Ah! A good friend always has your back. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I tell ya, no coal mining daughter of ours is going to shiny city wearing boots like those. Cut! <laughs> Snip!
Crabs, snails, where's the other boot? Hey, props ain't our jobs. Yes, it is. Your job is props. Well, yes, but... Right. The play is about magic dancing boots. No one's buying tickets to see a magic dancing boot. <gasps> Somebody's pilfered my bedazzled boot, eh? Not good. But a new case falling right into my lap. <laughs> Not bad. Don't you worry, your sweet redhead. Redhead. Speaking as the lead whose foot that boot adorns, and the costume designer whose mind dreamt of it in the first place, let me assure you, I shall find the boot. But where to begin? Somebody's got to know something. What do you say, Miss Pie? If that's your real name. I can't take it anymore! It was me! I did it! I'm the one! <laughs> Pinky, it couldn't have been you. Huh? It couldn't have? You were nowhere near the auditorium when it went missing. I wasn't. You were at the frozen yogurt shop. I was? You literally still have frozen yogurt in your hand. Hmm, yeah. You were just so upset I thought confessing would make you feel better. I could tell that dame had a sweet tooth. For trouble, there's still something you are not telling me. You saw something! Like, at the frozen yogurt shop. I took more than one free sample. And then I put the used sample spoons in the wrong cup. Slow down! And then someone took my spoon. This is bigger than spoons! And I watched them, Rarity! B -b -b I watched them eat my yogurt germs! Pinkie Pie, please! Have you or have you not seen my boot? Oh! You mean the one under the pile of bell bottoms? <gasps> you solved the mystery! But I have so much more to confess. Solving a case never tasted so good. The moment she strutted into my office, I already knew she was guilty. Only guilty people strut like that. That's a guilty person's strut. The moment I strutted into her office, I knew I could outsmart this buffoon. The dame wasn't talking, and that was fine. I cannot talk, too. I cannot talk for hours. I'm not even talking right now. <laughs> Me neither. Looks like Trixie picked up a racket and decided to play. Little does she know, two can play this game. She's good. But I had a little special something prepared. Makeup? We could be here for hours. You win this round, Rarity. But the match ain't over yet. The great and powerful Trixie always prevails. Ow! You better clean up these rocks. Someone could get hurt. Not me. But you know, someone. Spike? Sorry. I wanted to see what it's like to be a dancer. You want to dance in the play? Oh, we'll find a spot for you, Spike. But next time you borrow a boot, ask first. Case closed. Trixie, amazing. How come nobody's talking out loud? Well, last time I saw them together was, uh, when I was building the mine shaft set, over by the costume rack. Detectives trust their instincts, and mine were telling me to check the costume rack. Lord? Oh, all the people, Maud! Honestly, I never pegged you for a crook. Who put you up to it? What do you got against my big debut? Why aren't you answering me? Why? 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 Huh. 
You might have thought this one is rose quartz, but it's actually amethyst. Ugh, nobody thought that. They're just rhinestones, darling. Made of amethyst. The world's largest amethyst geode weighs two and a half tons. A two and a half ton bedazzling gem? Are you imagining yourself hugging it? Yeah, 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 I yeah. am. Me too. Glimmer and gleaming glistening geos. Oh, for me! <sighs> oh, nice. 